environmental catastrophe of vast proportions. We asked the Minister for Shipping to comment on that story, but she just yawned. <laughs> but who needs her when we've got you? What do you think about this issue? Do you have any thoughts? What are those thoughts? Will you tell us them? Any thoughts at all will do. If you have them, we want to hear them. Are you personally affected by this issue? Then email us. Or if you're not affected by this issue, can you imagine what it would be like if you were? Or if you already are affected by it, but don't want to talk about it, can you imagine what it would be like not to be affected by it? Why don't email and tell us? Yes, why not? What possible reason could there be for you not to email us? <laughs> Certainly ignorance shouldn't be a bar. You may not know anything about the issue, but I bet you reckon something. <laughs> so why not tell us what you reckon? Let us enjoy the full majesty of your uninformed ad hoc reckon <laughs> by going to bbc.co.uk slash me and my important thoughts, all one word, clicking on what I reckon, and then simply beating on the keyboard with your fists or head. <laughs> Here's some of the feedback we've had so far. Andrew from Eastbourne reckons it's a sad indictment of the way we live. Matthew from Ilkley reckons it isn't. Patricia from Southampton wonders what Wordsworth would say and thinks she knows. And James from Amersham would like the fire brigade quickly, for God's sake, he's trapped, he's trapped. <laughs> Thanks for those, and keep those emails coming. It is, for some reason, apparently vital that you do.